And welcome everyone, this is Like It's 1985. Today's review, I'll be taking a look at Transformers Human Alliance Autobot Jazz with his human partner, Captain Lennox. Uh, the nice thing about this set is the fact that you actually get, uh, you know, two vehicles. Uh, you get the, you know, of course you get Jazz in his uh, vehicle mode, but you also get this motorbike here, or this crotch rocket, whatever you want to call it. And it uh, turns into the weapon for Jazz in his robot mode. And there's a quick look at uh, Captain Lennox. And you can see he fits quite nicely on the, on the motorbike. Uh, so that's really nice. But the main event, of course, is Jazz. And what a phenomenal silver paint scheme it's got on there. Really, really nice. Uh, you know, you're going to be really happy if you pick up this figure because this, this, uh, this alt mode looks great. Um, you've got... Uh, kind of blue uh, translucent plastic windows which actually does complement the silver pretty nicely. Uh, you can see there's no license plate there like there was with uh, Human Alliance Barricade. Uh, kind of would have been nice if they would have put like Jazz or something back there but that's not a big deal. Um, so on to the transformation. So the first thing um, the instructions tell you to do is to pop open the doors which is good. Pop open the doors and then you need to take this section here and this should unpeg and pop up. I uh, kind of have to use a little bit of force sometimes to get it up. There we go. So it pops up like that. It's on a hinge. So you're going to hinge it all the way forward and so that it's all the way flush as possible, as much as possible against the roof there. Uh, the next thing the instructions tell you to do is to, to uh, open up the hood and fold it back. Uh, but I'm going to make it easier on myself and do a few steps before that. Uh, so what I like to do, uh, to go, go here, unpeg this, and same deal over here, unpeg that. That loosens up the front from the back of the car. Uh, then what I like to do is go ahead and pull uh, this section out here, which will eventually become the arms for Jazz. And it looks like it's still s stuck in there. Pull these out and get them to the side a little bit. And now it's quite easy to lift up the roof and fold it back on top of the, the rear section of the car like that. So, let's concentrate on the legs first. Uh, for the legs, uh, this whole section is going to become the legs and the feet. Uh, actually, I'm going to fold this piece up here, get it out of the way, like that. And then you want to pull this down. that until you get into about that and then the legs basically just unfold um, actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to separate there's a, a peg here and a peg uh, back towards the heel let's separate these two pieces <clears throat> and then you just unfold this piece here like that and do the same thing over here it just kind of naturally naturally unfolds uh, then you want to take um, the leg and ro rotate it down like that. There's a little uh, joint there. And do the same thing over here. I mean, you could leave them together and uh, you can transform it so the legs will come down together. It just kind of depends on what you want to do. Uh, but then you want to come here, fold up this part here. And same thing on the other side. And then don't forget on the bottom here, you want to bring out these um, what become like heel spurs for stability for jazz. Then <clears throat> this section here uh, you want to take this and kind of pull it away from the leg and then you want to rotate it down. Oops. Rotate. Like that. Um, can be kind of stiff at times. And then you want to take the, the, the section and rotate it like this. There's actually another joint there. Uh, do the same thing over here. Try to get the leg some clearance there. Uh, take this, pull it out, and rotate it down. You can see there's a hinge there. Want to rotate it to the side like that, and then you are done with the legs. Now coming back up here to where the engine would be, you want to take this piece and fold it up like that, and then. What you're going to do uh, with the 
you've got it to like this. This actually rotates. It's on a, a swivel joint type of thing. It rotates 180. So you want to rotate it all the way around. <clears throat> and then to connect the um, uh, the pelvic area to the waist or the upper upper body, there is a tab here, right there, and it's going to tab into. Uh, whoops, sorry about that. The back of here. So you just want to bring these two pieces together. Uh, looking at it from the front, it's going to be about like that, as you can see. And then you just want to push back until it locks in place like that. And then adjust the legs if necessary. Okay. So on to, um, just want to bring up the head here is the head. Um, I'm going to kind of use this as leverage to bring it up like that. And then rotate around the head. <clears throat> uh, as for the arms, um, you want to rotate them so the tires are on the shoulder area like that. And uh, do the same thing over here. Adjust that back there. Um, looking at it from the side, <clears throat> you can see how the doors are together like this for car mode. They pull apart like this and then <clears throat> you want to rotate it around so you actually have the um, uh, the silver side towards the towards jazz like this. Just rotate it around like that. <clears throat> and on each uh, arm there's a little hand that you pull out like this as you can see. And um, See how the, the door here, there's a hinge, there's a, well, there's a gap there. That's meant so that you can actually fold that in like that. See, everything's nice and flush. Um, you know, do the same thing over here. Again, uh, when I first transformed it, I didn't quite realize that. I just folded the window like that. But you can see kind of how, as you fold the window, it pulls that piece up like that. So it actually it does sort of uh, do that automatically. See how this... Uh, this kind of pulls out, rotate it around uh, 180. So you've got the Pontiac logo of the right orientation. But anyways, these pieces here are in ball joints and you want to pull these up and uh, these get angled down like that. You can actually angle these here. So they need to be angled up like this. They're on little hinges. So there, finally, sorry about that, is Jazz in his robot mode. Now, uh, putting him aside for a second, I'm going to take a, throw Captain Linux away. <laughs> uh, transform the motorbike real quick. Uh, these flaps go up like this. And when there's a kind of a double hinge there. You're going to pull it out like that. And then it folds in. And actually, this piece needs to go around like that. And then this can fold in more nicely like that. And you want to take this like that. And um, this missile does load in here. Uh, it does fire. As you can see, the mechanism to fire it is where I guess you, uh, this piece right here, right next to my thumb, right there, you press that and missile away. Uh, and then to attach it to Jazz here, um, fold in this hand, or you can do actually do it on either side, I believe. No, actually, you can't because the peg's on this side, but you would. Plug it in, plug the peg into a little slot here. And I fold that back up. And there is Jazz's, uh, I don't know what they call it, a cannon, but it looks like a cannon, or it looks like a pretty, uh, kind of like a cannon type of weapon. But it looks awesome, I like that. It's cool. And I just fired the missile, but obviously you can load the missile in there. <clears throat> Now, before I forget, uh, Jazz does have a like a battle mask there. Actually, it's a lever back here. You uh, push that up, and it actually uh, has a visor there, where you can push down, and it comes off like that. I kind of prefer to have it with the visor on. Uh, now, as far as uh, the Human Alliance gimmicks, well, there is uh, this section here, which is a seat, and as you can see, there's a peg right there 
and this piece goes like this and rotates to become kind of like a little cannon. And, uh, there's a corresponding peg in uh, Captain Linux's back and he should be able to peg right in there and control the, the weapon as you can see. He's not really pegged in there but you get the idea. Um, what would be cool I think is just maybe have it like this so Jazz has kind of an over-the-shoulder cannon without uh, you know Captain Linux doesn't need to be there in my opinion. There's a peg here and he can sit here and there's actually if we take a look here well, let me pull them out here. These guns here, they normally rest like this. You pull them out, and Captain Lennox can sit here and control uh, the guns there. But that's not, that's nothing I'm ever going to use. But it's something that's available if you so desire. And here is a size comparison of Jazz, who is quite tall uh, compared to on our left to uh, Vinyl Tech Tracks and on our right to Deluxe Sized uh, uh, Sideswipe. Now, of course, Sideswipe being a Deluxe is uh, quite a bit shorter than Human Alliance Jazz. However, where I was surprised is if we compare uh, Tracks, uh, Vinyl Tech Tracks versus uh, Human Alliance Jazz, Jazz actually comes out uh, taller. Now I realize this isn't the same comparison that I did earlier uh, comparing alt modes, but uh, you know, Shock Blast should be about the same size or same uh, height as Trax, so you can see uh, that even though uh, Human Alliance uh, Jazz is smaller uh, compared to a lot of the Biontech figures in its alt mode, Robot Mode is a different story. Uh, quite a uh, tall figure. Now to further illustrate the uh, height of Jazz in his robot mode, uh, here is Human Alliance Jazz next to a Voyager class Bludgeon. Uh, and Jazz definitely is taller than Bludgeon. And, uh, you know, I think that Bludgeon is roughly the average height for a Voyager class figure, so uh, you can definitely expect Human Alliance Jazz to uh, stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with other Voyager class figures. So my final thoughts on Human Alliance Autobot Jazz with Captain Linux uh, can be basically summed up like this. Thumbs up, Hasbro. Excellent job. Uh, I've got to say that this Human Alliance uh, Transformer has got to be uh, one of the best, if not the best, of the Human Alliance uh, figures so far. And I do have to qualify that by the fact that I do not have Human Alliance Bumblebee, although I've seen reviews of them. And I do not have Human Alliance Mud Flash, which I'm sure is not going to be as good as this guy here. So uh, the only competition this guy might have would be uh, Human Alliance Bumblebee. Other than that, uh, this guy might be the king of all Human Alliance figures thus far. Uh, as I mentioned, the alt mode has very nice silver paint applications. Uh, the color, uh, the, quali the quality of the color continues on with the robot mode. Uh, as you can see here, uh, about on his thigh area, he's got this brown, bronze type of color. And I like the fact that they use that as opposed to the usual dull gray that we get. Uh, so that's really nice. And you can see nice details uh, with the, the pistons. They're painted kind of a bronze color. Uh, of course, you got gold here and gold on his toe there. Uh, fantastic. Very nice. Uh, what can I say? I love it. Uh, the side profile is even nice. He's, he's, he really doesn't have much of a backpack. This, this all folds in very nicely, so you really couldn't call it much of a backpack, but it's fantastic. Uh, much better executed than they did with the Human Alliance uh, uh, side swipe. So, awesome. Really cool. Like I say, this is the one you should probably get if you uh, haven't got a Human Alliance figure yet. Uh, I think you, 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 will be, you will be well pleased with it. Uh, I like the fact that it does come with an extra vehicle mode and then it can transform into the gun uh, or cannon for uh, Jazz to use in robot mode. Of course we've got uh, this guy here but who cares about him? I'm not going to be using him uh, as far as uh, placing him on Jazz anywhere. But anyways, uh, excellent figure. I recommend it that you go get it. Uh, this has been my review of Transformers Human Alliance Autobot Jazz with Captain Linux. Thanks for watching.